So this is definitely going to take a, a lot of practice to understand this game. There's a side mission right over there, so let's go check that out. Yeah, if you've already pulled me in with your introduction, then it's worth doing the side missions. Oops, wrong button. See, I'm so used to pressing square to interact, but it's L2 for some reason. <laughs> oh, spirits. Arcade event flyer. Here comes a new ranking battle, the 37th ranking battle for special fighting heroes 3. Version 2.2 is almost here. This fighting game masterpiece still has scores of fans eagerly labbing out every nook and cranny its systems and characters have to offer. New players are also more than welcome. Date and time every Wednesday. Reception opens at 7 p.m. Tournament begins at 7.30 p.m. Entrance fee 500 yen. Cabinet set to free play after the tournament. Shibuya Underground Arcade Kadomi. Now, I don't know how many dollars is equal to one yen. I wonder what that proportion is. There's drinks over there. Why would you... Do you cook rice balls in the microwave? That doesn't seem right. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that is a lot of Meka. <laughs> That's cool. A model supercar. Small scale toy automobile modeled after a supercar. Is this the equivalent to those uh, collectibles in Evil Within 2 where uh, they were references to other Bethesda games? Hmm. Probably. Old man concerned about water. That is incredibly descriptive for a subtitle. Find a place with lots of still water. He's gonna see me. Damn it. Let's see once again how good the last on position mechanic is. Damn it! There's so many of them. Is there a Tengu somewhere? I need to lose these guys. I don't think I have the uh, skills for this one. Can I hide in these bushes? Is this working? I don't think this is working. There's no kind of special symbol or anything. Zashiki Warashi. Hmm. あの、こちらもどうしてもらえるかの。いいぜ。コンテナは眉唾だけどな。そういうのやめなよ。じゃ、これを持っていくんだったね。あ、塩せんべい。ライスクラッカーズ。<笑> Guest room alcoves. It's common for traditional Japanese homes to have recessed alcoves with wooden surfaces that are slightly raised above the floor. Such alcoves are called uh, tokonoma in Japanese, and they're often modestly decorated with hanging scrolls and flower vases. Hmm. <laughs> Let's log both of those side missions. Quite an interesting uh, change to the environmental aesthetic.
Yakuza Puffs. Yakuza is a gang. A food which bears a striking resemblance to an earthly brand of puffed rice snacks. The sweet coating belies intensely spicy undertones. The balance of sweet and spicy will neutralize your psychic aura, making it more difficult for enemies to spot you. Oh, so it's a stealth item. Hmm. I'm really liking this game right now, guys. It's so different to a lot of the other games I've played. I just I love the uh, use of Japanese mythology. I like some of the um, the mechanics. I just like the way uh, Shibuya looks. I like the way this environment looks. It's so different to the uh, more contemporary modern designs. And I haven't really noticed any problems with the gameplay so far. Stupid says. Is a shiki warashi. I can't sleep with all that crying it does. It. Hmm. It's driving me up the wall. And what gives? It's been three months since I took it and my fortunes are not improving. Why? I'm not any richer than I was before. In fact, all the cash I borrowed got stolen by some lousy thief. The debt collectors are practically banging down my door day after day. I just gotta hang in there a little longer. I'm sure my patience will be rewarded. I've got myself a golden goose here, and I'm not letting anyone else have it. I want to be ready for when the Zashiki Warashi starts making it rain on me. So I bought a good lockbox. I'll keep the key stashed in the Buddhist altar in the bedroom until my luck turns out. No one will ever be able to find it there, and I'm not telling a soul. So... In the Buddhist altar in the bedroom. I didn't see what he was saying. I didn't expect that to be a dialogue choice. Nether Odin. A food which bears a striking resemblance to an earthly convenience store staple. Unlike normal Odin, which is served hot, this radiates an otherworldly chill. Eating it will clear your mind, making it easier to perform perfect blocks. Hmm. So I'm looking for a statue in a bedroom, so where is the bedroom? My debt would be history if I just had that Zashiki Warashi, but no, that selfish hag wants to hog it all to herself and won't sell it to me. Who the hell does she think she is? I can't take this anymore. If she's not going to cooperate, I'll just steal the stupid thing and then I'll wave down at her from on top of my fat stacks of yen. Oh. Interesting. So it's hidden. A cabinet for religious purposes commonly found in Japanese homes intended to honor departed ancestors. They are shaped like a tall box with doors on the front and are painted black with lacquer and other materials. I have no idea what lacquer is. While initially adopted as a custom between the 6th and 7th centuries among the Japanese arist aristocracy, it is believed that their use had spread among members of the working class by the 17th century. Hmm. Hmm. The lower right of the blueprint. Oh, okay. I had to use my spectral vision in order to find it. Whoa, what the hell? This is like the residual echoes from Devil Within 2. What is so significant about the Zashiki Warashi? I mean, aside from the fact that he wants to sell her off, exercise him? Oh. 
There. That was interesting. So we used the same hand seal for the door to to use on this guy. Huh. Cool. Might seem like a simple side mission, but it was actually pretty interesting. I guess. Receive power. Oh, that's how you get Makatamas. In addition to ordinary spirits, you can also absorb yokai which will reward you with Makatama. Makatama are used on the skills menu to unlock sections of the skill tree and open up new skills to learn. Okay. Oh, there's more spirits here. <laughs> there's no end to them! As Ethan Winters said, in Resident Evil Village. Hmm. Oh, shit! Oh! Nice! <laughs> the detection on the strike attack looked a little odd. I was pretty close to him, but some of those hits weren't registering, it looked like. Green tea, a variety of tea so ubiquitous in Japan that it has come to represent the nation on the global stage. Research has shown that drinking green tea can reduce blood cholesterol and manage body fat levels thanks to abundant uh, catechins and vitamin C. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is true. There has been research on that, but I've never heard of catechins before. And vitamin C is for wound healing also. I remember that from biology. The tea was originally brown in color, but acquired its vibrant green hue in the 18th century during the mid-Edo period. After this, it gradually grew in popularity until it achieved the ubiquity it enjoys today. Global exports of green tea have approximately doubled in the past decade due to the popularity of Japanese cuisine in Western nations, as well as a global uptick in health-conscious diets. And there's something about watermelons. A popular summertime fruit that needs little introduction in Japan, meticulously crafted melons of all shapes and sizes can command a high price among those blessed with deep pockets. They can often be found growing in places like uh, Kumamoto and Chiba. The sourness of the plum-like object within was not meant for mortal tongues. Eating this will clear your mind, making it easier to perform perfect blocks. Yeah, we've already seen that. Though it bears an otherworldly bitterness, drinking it will improve your spiritual circulation, boosting your attack power. You know, it's so odd when I'm looking through all these, and they're not what I'm expecting when it comes to their intended effect on the gameplay. Shiriko. Huh. Though not too sweet, it has powerful nourishing and revitalizing effects, and drinking it will significantly increase your max HP. Hmm. Oh, sh damn it. I didn't really see how effective the headshots are. Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! Jesus! Come on! There we go. And there's another one. Where did she go? 
She disappeared quickly. This is one of the trickier parts about this game, because there aren't as many enemies on the streets. It's very easy to stumble into enemies, because you're just going through these streets expecting no enemies. Hmm. A Doriyaki. Its name is derived from the Japanese word for gong, Dora. <laughs> Similar to um the Dora Melage from uh, Black Panther. Although it's probably mean it probably means something different in Africa. It's also known at times as uh, Mikasa in reference to uh, Mount Mikasa in Nara. Ah, Mikasa, that was the name of the one of the characters from Attack on Titan. Who wouldn't be able to uh, remember that name? Hmm. What's this? She wasn't alerted to my sounds, for whatever reason. And the interesting thing about that was I meleeed her, but it didn't cancel my ability to do the uh, stealth attack. God damn it, there is no telling when these enemies choose to turn. A new entry has been added to- like, so many things keep getting added to the database. Student of Misery, a type of visitor born from the anxieties of young female students. They are quick to act and attack with merciless tenacity. Hmm. I keep hearing spirits over there, but I don't know how to get over there. I can... Oh, there. I don't know how, but the open world has really fascinated me so far with this game. So you get no XP in this game when you're on this difficulty. It's so strange for highest difficulty. But it doesn't affect me at all because I'm immediately starting on this difficulty. I thought that would work, but no. <laughs> wow, you can grab the core that far of a distance? Cool. I'm running out of energy. I hope there's some kind of ability we can get where that allows us to uh, increase our uh, traversal through the city when, we, when we're trying to use the Tengu. That doesn't look right. Hmm. I like how the effects of uh, Spirit Vision linger a bit. <laughs> really? <laughs> Coffee milk? Okay, find the source of the corruption. Jesus. Okay. I guess they don't want me to go in that direction. Oh, wait, over here. It's warping space. Ooh. 
What the? Oh shit! Hang on, is there some kind of... No, never mind. I thought there was some kind of a... Uh, way to put an enemy into a stun state. By just hitting them before the attack. But, uh, apparently not. Nice. Damn it. The strikes aren't connecting for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Whoa. Oh. Damn it. Oh, it's a poorly timed block. God damn it again! Poorly timed. Jesus Christ, it's like these enemies are designed to close in on me. Oh shit! When I'm about to rip the core from them. There we go. I'm running out of ether. Damn it! I gotta remember to hold our L2 to actually draw the ether towards me. Yeah, see, it's coming towards you because I'm holding L2. It's an important thing to note. Yeah, the, the melee attacks are pretty shit so far. Unless I'm not understanding this. Like, hang on. Let me go to the database real quick to understand how the melee works. Strike attacks. Allow you to hit foes without expending SP. They can also be used to break open chunks of crystallized ether. Yeah, but this is just odd. It's just not connecting properly. Like, let me try dealing with her without using the, um, the wind attacks. Like, she's not getting stunned. This is so confusing. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the melee leaves something to be desired. It really does. Do they actually have, um, database entries for side missions? Oh. Yeah, they do. Revenue down 2% from last month. Revenue down 3% uh, from last month. Hmm. Yeah, always remember to search the area for spirits.
before you actually uh, leave the area. So I'm just... I don't get why the strike attacks are crap. How are you supposed to attack enemies that can do range attacks at close range? It feels like this entire... Oh, now he's talking about that. Man, these two comment about everything, it seems. I need to get into another combat encounter because the melee doesn't make any sense to me. It feels like it has better detection when you're not too close to the enemy. You have to be, like, a foot away from the enemy for the melee to actually connect, because it was doing those uh, pulses when it was connecting, but there was no hit reaction on the enemy. Unless it's tailored to an upgrade. Like, is there an upgrade for the, uh... Oh! Now, now we have uh, upgrades for this. So you can actually summon Tengu now. But you see that? You, you can see that on this little video here, the strike attack doesn't register any kind of stun on this guy. So you have to specifically use the strike attack when an enemy is not attacking. You have to make sure that you use it when the enemy is in recovery frames, which I think is just a little stupid. Or not really stupid, because there could be moments where enemies cancel the recovery frames, for all I know. <laughs> Waka Cola was created as a fusion of East and West, using a traditional cola flavor base with red bean paste as a secret ingredient. Cola is considered an American cultural staple, but Japan has put its own unique spin on its Waka Cola. <laughs> okay. So that's meant to be some kind of uh, copy of Coca-Cola. Wait a second, my flashlight! Are the enemies attracted to my flashlight? Uh, yeah they are. So that's probably why that was getting spotted sometimes. I need to back up. It's just hard to tell at times if your flashlight is on or not. So let's check again. Or not. This. Oh, I mean, then again, these girls, they never seem to react to me that much. Oh, there's a limit to how much I can carry. God damn it. Yeah, just come over here. I love how the lights go red when the enemies are noticing you. Wrap them out. Uh, there's a phone booth right over here. I need to purchase more of these uh, katashiros. <laughs> these cats are too adorable. Hmm. Wow, I have a lot of money. I'll buy that, just that one. <laughs> the amount of quotes they've given to these characters for simple actions is... more than you'd hear in any other game, I honestly feel. Cleansing large shrines. Large shrines throughout Shibuya have multiple Tori gates that have been corrupted. Cleansing all the Tori gates at a given shrine will clear the fog in the surrounded area. Cleansing a large shrine has many benefits, such as revealing hidden spirits and unlocking new shops and Omikuji locations. They just said that quote. Wonder why they're saying it again. You know, I just realized, have I died yet? I don't think I've died yet. So I have no idea what the checkpoints are like in this game. So, can you hide in bushes? I don't know if you can hide in bushes or not. I'll have to test some other time. Oh, 
Another watermelon, so what does this do? Even the skin is soft and it can be eaten whole. Eating it will improve your spiritual circulation, boosting your attack power. Okay. Oh shit, that is a lot of spirits. A lot of visitors. I gotta remember, I can use the, uh... The bow and arrow to my advantage. Nice. I don't know how effective the bow and arrow is. It, there, there better not be upgrades for its damage. Let's see. Are there upgrades for its damage? Hmm, nothing for damage, it seems. It could be uh, that it applies to other upgrades. Oh, you can't... God damn it. So you can't uh, cleanse Tori Gates while in combat? That is a problem. I say it's a problem, it's not that bad. Ooh, nice. Wow, the bow is really good. Good. All right. A shame that doesn't get rid of the visitors. And these guys turn around so much. But look at them. You see that? I initiated the quick purge from here, it put me right here during the animation, and then it teleported me back. I was worried that was going to be a thing where, what if, say, for instance, uh, it puts me through a wall during that animation, I'd be stuck, but it teleported me back to that initial position. Shirayama Shrine Autumn Festival notice, October 16th through 17th, starting at 4 p.m. Come and enjoy a variety of food stalls and fun events. Parking will not be available on the shrine grounds, so please refrain from coming by car. Sponsored by the, uh, Tsukinami, uh, Merchants Association. Hmm. Unlucky year chart? There are some ages in a person's life where misfortunes tend to befall them more regularly. During these critical years, which vary depending on a person's gender, as well as the years before and after them, it's important to be proactive in warding off bad fortune before it's too late. You can find the critical years for both genders listed below. So for males, it's 25, 42, and 61. For females, it's 19, 33, 37, and 61. And also, there is some care that must be taken at 24, 26, 41, 43, 60, and 62 for males. And a whole bunch of ages for females. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you'd like a consultation regarding prayers to protect your fortunes. Hmm. It's New Year's Day, Setsubun, Hinamatsuri, Anam Festival, Chichi, Gosan, New Year's Eve. Shinto Priest Weekly Report, Prayer Talismans out of stock, Day Off, Finalized Shrine Seal Book Design. Hmm. Are they searching for me? Hmm. I was worried that these enemies wouldn't die instantly, but so far they seem to be dying instantly. Damn it! Oh, she went for the sound! Hold on, let's try that again. I think she was still investigating the sound, maybe. Hmm. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's end her. There we go. 
So yeah, the bow is really good. I thought it'd be shit, but it's actually pretty good so far on these basic enemies. A golden tea bowl. A tea bowl used for Japanese tea ceremony, coated with gold. Hmm. You could probably sell those. But I don't know if this game has any kind of selling options. I think that's it. Oh, there's a fast travel option. Thank God. Concentrated energy. Offerings. When you make an offering of Mecha, you'll be rewarded in proportion to the amount that you donate. Once you've confirmed the amount of Mecha you wish to offer, you'll then choose a prayer to complete the process. Let's try it. How much will you donate? Uh, I'll donate 500. Oh, you can make wishes? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is probably not a mechanic, this is probably just there for fun. Let's just pick this one for, for the laughs. I knew it. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to be uh, something special. I ordered 10 Katashiro from your shrine. I'd like to increase the order to 15. Okay. Is that fire? Yeah, it is. Okay. Fire weaving summons powerful long range lances of flame. Charging the attack will transform the lances into balls that explode and can damage many visitors at once. So you hold R1 and you pick your elements. During combat, you can quickly switch between ethereal weaving elements as well as your bow or talismans as necessary. <laughs> Huh. I came here from Sumodo. Lost Tanuki. A gaggle of Tanuki recently trekked to Tokyo, but then up and got themselves lost. Their boss needs your help finding them, so keep your eyes peeled for these crafty critters as you make your way through Shibuya. Keep a wary eye out. The seat you're sitting on, that big bowl of ramen you're about to tuck into, that conspicuously out of place road sign you spotted, they could all be transformed tanuki in disguise. Hmm. You're kidding me. あの人形、神が乗りたい。クリオに出しても戻ってきたり、死にはいけない。死んでも成仏できないし。全部あの呪われた人形のせいなんです。全部。その人形、何かが宿ってるな。ここから人形の思念を終えるはずだ。よし、死念。あ、there。気になってたんだけど、国の番犬って警察ってこと？うん、そうだ。警察は嫌いが。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや
He doesn't stream. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, enemies. So let's try fire out and see what it does. Fire is pretty devastating. Wow, it is very devastating. Wow, oh, this doll definitely traveled quite the distance. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, shit! I'm out. Whoa! Well, that's definitely a valid conclusion. Huh? That did it.神社の霊に人形を届けて本当のことを教えてあげなきゃ。人形のせいで死んだと勘違いしてたからな。本当は守ってくれてたのに。さあ、can help。なんだ。Huh. Omikuji effects at shrines. You can draw paper fortunes known as Omikuji. These fortunes can be good or bad and will affect you accordingly. All effects from Omakuji are temporary. You can only have one Omakuji effect active at a time, even if you find charms that allow you to maintain multiple buffs. Potential effects ordered from luckiest to unluckiest. Okay, so Daikichi. For a limited amount of time, XP rewards for defeating... Okay, well, the difficulty already disables that, so that's irrelevant to me. Kichi, for a limited time, damage inflicted by visitors will be halved. Chukichi, for a limited time, your HP will not decrease beyond critical level. And now, uh, Shokichi, for a limited time, the amount of Mecha received from Ether Crystals will be doubled. And now, we have this, uh, Sweet Kichi. The wind carries the faint strains of the Tokyo Bond Dance. Kyo, visitors spring forth nearby... Thank you. Your HP is immediately reduced to one. Let's do it. Fair enough, I've drawn the short end of the stick. Well, that's pointless though, because I won't be seeing enemies for a while. Oh, 
あなたを呪うためのわら人形があって彼女が身代わりになってあなたを守ってたんだ姉さんがそれじゃあ私が事故にあったのはお前が守り神を手放したからだまさかこの人形の中に姉さんがいたなんてずっと私を守ってくれていたのかそれを私は姉さんすまない許してくれ姉のおかげでお前ももう成仏できるはずだ彼女もあなたを救ったことで安心して成仏したよ本当にありがとうございました礼はあの世で姉に言うんだなナイスよし上出来だふん合い物の待ち時間が一番辛いな <laughs> They just said that quote, so there might be some、uh, repetition in the quotes. Nekumata、mm. mm, relic requests. Sometimes Nekumata will request that you track down traditional objects for them. Should you find these items and bring them back, you'll be rewarded in kind. Press L1 to switch to the shop menu. In addition to making requests, this stall also sells valuable items. So. You find stuff and you give them to them. So. There we go. So I got that amount of money. Okay. So this could be helpful. Wait, what? Why does this cat have KK's investigation notes? Usable only in photo mode. Huh. You can play music? Hmm. So I'll mainly be using this to actually、uh, get more money.